If you are approaching 55 years old and have plans to downsize your property, do watch this video to avoid this commonly overlooked mistake. Hello everyone, I'm Vivian and welcome back to my channel. Before I dive deeper, would you take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel so that more people can be empowered by my content? To illustrate further, let's base on this scenario. Supposing you currently own a HDB which is worth $550,000 with an outstanding loan of $150,000. After selling it, you receive a CPF refund of $250,000 and by deducting the CPF refund and outstanding loan from the sale purchase, excluding agent and miscellaneous fees, your cash proceeds will be $150,000. Your current ordinary account holds $50,000 and your CPF special account contains $50,000. Based on this, there are two possible scenarios and that determines the age you decide to downsize your property which will make a big difference. First, should you decide to downsize to a 3-room flat for $350,000 before 55 years old and utilize your CPF refund and OA which in this case adds up to $300,000 this will mean you will need to top up $50,000 cash. This will not be a concern to you because you will still have $100,000 left from your cash proceeds. However, this scenario will be completely different if you have turned 55 years old and beyond. Bringing out the same calculation which we have done earlier on the sale of your HDB flat, here's the difference. For instance, if you are about to turn 55 years old this year, your full retirement sum will be $198,800. The sum in your ordinary account which is your OA and special account SA will total $100,000 in your retirement account. Given this, you will still have a shortfall of $98,800 which will be covered by the CPF refund from the sale. As a result, your new balance in your current CPF OA will be $151,200 which you can choose to withdraw as cash or leave it in your CPF OA. After combining the cash proceeds from the sale and the new CPF amount, the total funds available amount to $301,200. When purchasing your $350,000 HDB flat, you can use up to 50% of your full retirement sum which equals to $99,400. The remaining balance of $250,000 can be fully covered by your total funds. This means that you will still have $50,600 in cash proceeds remaining. Comparing between the first scenario of $100,000 and second scenario at $50,000, this is a difference of about $50,000 just because of the difference in the time you choose to sell. Although this might not be a big sum of money for many of you watching, however, there are many instances whereby I've witnessed many people who are stuck in this kind of scenario such as wanting to cash out but unable to do so as they will experience a negative sale. Other scenarios such as not being able to fully pay their downsized property or being stuck and not being able to move on, many times these people who I've met have reached their retirement age and this is really something which I would want to avoid for all of the people who have watched my videos. The only way we can avoid such a sticky situation is to do an audit based on your finances and property so that you will know what is the impact for you and your family once you turn 55. Of course, there are many variables based on this calculation which I've worked on here. So if you are unsure of the scenario that you are in right now and you want to have clarity on how to plan ahead, then reach out to me at my contact number below and I'll see you in my next video.